On the agenda of this new episode, we have cybersecurity, illicit firearms database, remaining streets maintenance services, digital assets management, Oracle versus woman class action, and don't miss at the end of the news, we have from the latest coming release of Microsoft Surface Go 2 presented as iPad Pro Killer. Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification starts with DAFRIS 8171. News from US Department of Defense. The Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification is slotted to be added to prime DOD contracts in 2020 as a unified standards for go no go decision at the time of a war. It will require organizations in the Department of Defense supply chain to undergo a CMMC audit by an official CMMC auditor. This program, as outlined by the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, will serve as a verification ensuring that the defense supplier has adequate cybersecurity practices across basic cyber agents processes, procedures, and policies in place. World Custom Organization received access to Interpol's ARMS database. Interpol has signed an agreement with the World Customs Organizations, granting the global bodies access to its database on illicit firearms. The agreement further strengthened the long-standing cooperation between the two organizations in the fight against trafficking, organized crime and terrorism, leveraging the global custom mandate of the WCO to help identify and cut off the flows of illicit weapons. Under the agreement, the WCO will have real-time access to search to more than 1.4 million records of illicit firearms contained in the Interpol's illicit arms records and tracing management systems, as well as access to firearms identification references materials via Interpol's firearms reference table. Oracle contents reminis can't legally access its support website without Oracle's permission. As discussed in our previous blog post in Remini's Oracle sued Remini Streets in the District Court of Nevada asserting a number of claims including copyright infringement, the court found on a uh, summary as judgment that the process to uh, provide maintenance uh, servicing that Remini Street used prior to 2014 exceeded the scope of Remini's customer's licenses. The case then went to trial and Rimini lost to a record, although the jury did not find that Rimini was a willful copyright infringer. The district court issued an injunction which was largely affirmed by the Ninth Circuit. Is how Rimini described the Rimini legislation in a recent legal filing. Switzerland CMTA introduced new standards for digital asset custody and management. As stated in its press release, the Capital Markets and Technology Organization, CMTA, a non-profit organization dedicated to bringing together players from various sectors of the Swiss economy, including financial, technological, and legal, had for the first time issued a digital assets custody standards. The CMTS DACS are requirements and recommendations designed to govern tech solutions facilitating the custody and management of digital assets. The document aims to set clear guidelines to digital assets management and custody in terms of minimum security and operational requirements. Specifically, the CMTA has described some digital assets custody models in its DSES, including the poor digital ledger accounts and a located digital ledger accounts, subcustody and private DLAs, among others.
4,100 women take on a record of a a neck wall pay in class action lawsuits. Over 4,000 former and current women employees have accused cloud giant Oracle of unequal pay in class action gender discrimination lawsuits. The six Oracle workers who first sued against the company on 2017 seeking to be paid as much as their male colleagues scored a major victory this week when a California state judge certified the class action lawsuit on Thursday. The judge said, quote, Oracle cannot set individual pay within a job code based on experience, education, and performance if it does so inconsistently between men and a woman. Oracle may end paying several hundred million dollars if a jury decided in women's favor, said the report. Microsoft Surface Go 2 could crush iPad Air with this big upgrade. Microsoft Surface Go 2 is likely to launch in the next few weeks, featuring upgrades that include improved connectivity and battery life according to the latest leaks. Apple and its Air, iPad Air should take notes. It can last around 10 hours on a single charge which meant it was a far better pick than the Go for users wanting something they could reliably work on all day. We are likely to see the Surface Go 2 debut in May or June as part of a series of major Microsoft announcements. This announcement may also include the Surface Headphones 2 and the much-anticipated Xbox Series X. Thus end this edition of Safety TV News and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell and go on Twitter, Instagram and of course on safety.com to get all hot topics on compliance and innovation.